had, whew, you feel a nice tingle, that's your chi flow, and that's indicating that you've mixed everything up, you've got the pot stirred. Now we're going to start with standing in a boat. So standing in a boat, you're going to come up on your big toe, little toe, and the ball of your feet. It's called the little triangle. As we do that, we're going to inhale, and then we're going to exhale. So you're going to come back onto the heel, and you're going to round the shoulders, press out with the back, exhaling, getting some spine involvement. Inhale, comes from the big toe. Feel that energy come all the way up. Exhale, taking it from the head, back down to the toes. Inhale, and exhale. Standing in a boat. The next posture is Phoenix rises from the flames. So we want to get that spinal whip. You want to see, see how my spine whips up? Spine goes down. Starting in the big toe, working its way up. That spinal movement will be through most all of these. So Phoenix ascends the flames. Maintain that spinal whip as we inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. And standing, or Phoenix ascends the splints. The next posture we do is Hawk lands on a rock. So we're going to take our hands this way now. Inhale, exhale. Spinal action. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next we can take the foot, tip the toe up, bend over. You should get a nice pull in the back of the leg here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Side view. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Hawk lands on a rock. Do it on each side here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next posture. Monkey leaps from a tree. So we're going to keep that same spine action going here. We're going to actually accentuate them. Inhale like you're catching a bag of rice. Tuck in the tailbone. Exhale, we're going to throw it. That's monkey leaps from a tree. After monkey leaps from a tree, we're going to do snake rising from the grass. So we're going to come down, looking up. And we're going to tuck the tailbone and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Doing your best you can to get a nice stretch every vertebrae up as we come up. Rotate down. Bring it up. Down. Snake rises from the grass. After snake rises from the grass, we have gather the sun and moon. So we're going to post. In posting, you want to be sure that your ankle, knee, hip are all in the line. We're going to inhale, bring the energy in. Posting on the other side. Each foot straight, hip, knee, ankle in one line. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Clear the seven energy centers. We've got the energies brought into us now. We've got our spine going on. Throughout this, we're going to have that continued spinal whip as we breathe. And we're going to, the visualization is we're going to bring in energies clearing out the Tai Chi pole. 
Tai Chi pole goes from the byway point, right at the very top of the head, through Hoi, Hoi Yen, which is right in between, uh, right by the that anal sphincter there. So it goes right through you, and on that you have the chakras. First chakra we're going to clear out is the root chakra. It's elimination. It's defining what we are and what we aren't. Inhale, exhale. So we're just bringing our hands through it as we spinal loop. Three times. And I'm going to take it up to the second chakra, reproduction. Inhale, exhale. Remembering that breathing pattern. Inhale, exhale. Visualization, bringing the energies up through and washing them out, making the chakras clean. Exhale. Taking it up to the third chakra, sustenance. Right below the diaphragm, stomach area. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take it up to the fourth chakra, energy in motion, heart chakra. Emotion. Exhale. Time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Taking it up to the fifth chakra. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. All the things rising words, throat chakra, knowledge. Take it up to the sixth chakra, spirituality, intuition. Exhale, knowing without knowing how. Wisdom, sixth chakra. And we're going to take it up to the seventh chakra, divinity. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Then we're going to bring it down, starting with the seventh. And what we're doing here is we're closing it off to outside influences. We've got them clean. We want it to stay clean. Exhale. The visualization either can be making it so bright nothing can penetrate it, or you can be cutting it off to outside influences. Sixth chakra. Exhale. Fifth chakra. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale, and one. And then we can pack it in. Always be sure you just go up the right side, across the top to the left, down the left side. That's the direction of digestion. Be sure you do that or you can back things up. Feel that energy flowing in the lower dantian. Lower dantian is between the ming men, which is the belly, and then the kihai, back, and the hoi yin. All right, let's clear the seven energy centers. After clear the seven energy centers, we have gathered the clouds to make a jade pillow. So the visualization is gathering energy, pressing it up, putting it in the back of the head. What they call the kin the, gap, kin the dowel, right there where the head and the spine connect. We're gonna reach back, stretching the front body. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale to neutral, exhale down. Inhale, arching, this is pressing here, it's not arching down on the low back, it's pressing right there between the shoulder blades, really bringing the shoulder blades together, pressing up, thinking of lifting up to the front here. Exhale, inhale, 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. After gather the clouds to make a jade pillow, we do a return to fetal position. So this is going to come together. Back of hands to touch. This is really good for the wrists. So you're getting a full flexion in the wrist. Stroking out. Bringing it up. And collapsing down. Rounding. Side view. Inhale. It's usually done to an eight count in and an eight count out and then two four counts. So it's inhale, eight count, inhale, continuing to inhale, and then exhale. Continuing to exhale, inhale, and exhale. When you exhale, turn your head to the left. Helps to keep the energies down. What we're wanting to do is bring all the energy down into the lower dantian, so we have a nice warm belly and a cool head. That was return to fetal position. And the final one in this series is lead the golden chi ball. So we're going to take that energy that we've done, try to actually feel that ball of energy, bring it here underneath your uh, first chakra, bring it up the top, take it all the way up the back, visualization, water, bring fire down the front. This one's called the little circuit. Inhale, up the back. Water up the back. Fire down the front. Called fire path breath. Now we're going to take it to the large circuit. Inhale, up the back. We're going to cross at the waist. Take it down the back of the legs. Cross and bring it around. Bring it up the inside. And then into the lower dot. Inhale, up the back. Exhale down the front, crossing, and we'll end our routine by a horse riding stance. So you want to take your feet, take them out, toes out, heels out, toes out, heels straight. Then you're going to sink down into that. You want to keep your knees over your ankles. You always want to be able to see your toes. Set back. Hold that for three. I'll give you the side view. Feet out. Heels. Toes. Feet straight. Sinking down. See how the back is straight? The knees are bent. Awesome. Multiple different hand positions for that. We'd like to hold that three minutes each day. That really builds the nervous system. Builds the will. And then we'll do water wheel. So you're just going to take your hands, place them on the ground. You want to press into the earth. Imagination is bringing the water up the back, down the front, two feet into the earth, and back up. And you hold that posture with that visualization for three minutes. Those last two, the horse stance and the water wheel, those are a good way to end each practice. It really helps build your strength. The actual golden chi ball though ends with the leading the golden chi ball. Thank you for watching.